is your assignment okay they said find voltage using superposition theorem in the network shown for the parameters ठीक है तो we need to calculate voltage अब देखो voltage कहाँ पे है where is the voltage here right so this is our main diagram and we need to calculate the voltage by using superposition theorem so if you remember ki what are the steps for the superposition theorem did you remember tell me kya steps hote the superposition theorem ke we have to take one source at a time right dusre sources ko what we need to do remove it correct तो ये डायग्राम है हमारे पास इसमें डिपेंडेंट सोर्सेस लीव हाउ मेनी आर द टोटल सोर्सेस देर आर वन ऑफ द सोर्सेस ई राइट अनदर ऑफ द सोर्सेस आई एंड डिपेंडेंट सोर्स वी हैव टू टेक इन बोथ द स्टेप सो दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन सॉल्व इन टू स्टेप्स स्टेप नंबर फर्स्ट स्टेप एंड सेकेंड स्टेप करेक्ट ओके तो इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप वट वी नीड टू डू we have to take the first source and eliminate the second source current source now tell me current source would be open circuited or short circuited current source will be open circuit so first step mein we have to take first source first source is e we need to eliminate second source second source is i and current source must be open circuit right rest of the diagram would be same as it is and dependent source will always be present in each and every step clear now see this is 20 this is 5 this is 1 this is the set kv plus minus and v is mentioned here plus minus v correct now what we need to do in the second step we need to take the second source which one is the second source i correct and eliminate the first source how can we eliminate by short circuiting the voltage source correct so we can short circuit the voltage source now we need to take the current source now resistance would be as it is and again we need to take the dependent source correct theek hai yahan tak ye minus plus v 20, 20. अच्छा नहीं सॉरी इट्स टू ओम ओनली टू ओम दिस इज फाइव दिस इज वन एंड दिस इज के बी राइट टेल मी एनी डाउट अप टू हेम फर्स्ट स्टेप में फर्स्ट सोर्स लेना है बाकी सारे सोर्सेज हटा देने हैं सेकेंड स्टेप में सेकेंड सोर्स लेना है बाकी सारे सोर्सेज हटा देने हैं एंड देर आर टू सोर्सेज सो इट दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी सॉल्व इन टू डिफरेंट स्टेप्स क्लियर नाउ लेट्स टेक दिस वैल्यू ई इज हाउ मच टू वोल्ट अच्छा ई इज टू वोल्ट आई इज टू एम्पियर आर इज वन ओम के इज टू सो नाउ वी नीट ए इज टू ना आर इज वन ओम है वन ओम पहले मैं भी कंफ्यूज हो गई थी ई इज टू वोल्ट आई इज टू एम्पियर दिस वन इज टू एम्पियर देन आफ्टर दैट आर इज इक्वल टू वन ओम मीन्स दिस वन इज वन ओम and k is 2 this is 2v correct now see how can we get i first we need to calculate i theek okay? hai let us mark this one current would be i dash and let us mark this one current would be i double dash now your final answer from this step we can get v dash and from this step we can get v double dash final answer of v is how much v dash plus v double dash concept clear v dash kaise nikalenge v dash ka kya formula according to ohm's law that is i dash multiplied by r r is 1 so ultimately we can say that v dash would be equal to i dash right 
similarly uh, this one also i double dash multiplied by r r is 1 so v double dash is equal to i double dash multiplied by 1 so now our focus is to calculate i dash and i double dash clear now can you tell me how many meshes are there in the first step this one how many meshes are there in the first step two meshes as you can see that they have marked the sign positive to negative like this so we need to take the current like this let us consider this one would be i dash only right and let us consider this one would be i2 suppose so now two mesh two variable three variable and three equation tell me the first mesh equation you know the mesh part right tell me the first mesh equation direction i have taken anti clockwise because according to the sign convention they have given jaan ke inhone sign aise diye because 90% of the student like take like this theek hai inhone current dekho aise ja rahi hai inki current so it's better to take the current direction according to them only now tell me the equation minus 1 i dash it's i dash Hmm. Minus two, right? Its value is two volt. So this is your first mesh equation. This is your second mesh equation. Another thing we need to calculate the dependent source. So now it is depending on what? It's two V. So it is depending on mother or father. voltage or current father voltage now he'll search where his father is right dhoondo iske papa ka hai yahan now from this yellow portion you have to make one equation according to ohm's law ohm's law kya hota hai v is equal to i into r here v is how much v only how much current is flowing in this yellow part i dash so current would be i dash and how much is the resistance in this yellow part 1 okay so now you will have three equation and three variable can you get the value for i dash then you can substitute it here you will get v dash clear teen mesh hai ye i1 ye i2 ye i3 aise bhi le sakte ho aur opposite bhi le sakte ho but i suggest you ki jaise inhone sign diya hua positive to negative waise hi lena so three very three mesh and one dependent wala so total you need to make four equation right then only you will be able to get the value for i double dash now tell me all the four equations first mesh equation hmm. minus 1 into i3 minus 5 i3 minus i2 plus 2 volt is equal to 0 very good so this is your first mesh equation ye wala third mesh then super mesh super mesh minus 2 i2 minus 1 i1 minus i2 minus i3 would be equal to 0 correct उसके बाद दिस इज करंट सोर्स पे बेस्ड इक्वेशन राइट टेल मी आई वन माइनस आई टू वुड बी इक्वल टू टू तो ये तो हो गई 
your three mesh equation next you need to make it from the dependent source it is depending on voltage so voltage is here right now tell me the equation is equal to i1 into 1 you have taken in terms sorry i1 ke terms mein liyo na so can we say that i1 would be equal to i double dash i double dash is also moving in this direction and i1 is also moving in this direction so you can solve i1 from all the four equations right there are basically four variable one of the variable is i1 another variable is i2 another variable is i3 and then you will have another variable so i double dash we can get it then we'll get finally v dash and what we need to calculate in this question that we need to calculate v so v key value would be dash plus v double dash here okay now in this case they said verify the answer by using node voltage method so that means we have to use the same diagram and we need to do it by now nodal analysis correct so now according to the node voltage how many nodes are there in this case two let's consider this is one of the node va this is another node vb right so yahan pe i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 correct now next apply kcl at node a tell me the equation of kcl and apply kcl at node tell me the equation of both the cases i5 is vb se zero ja rahe to vb minus zero and in between we'll have battery so minus two volt okay so i5 is how much vb minus zero minus two v divided by one now again but this is dependent source so we need to make one equation extra so your dependent source my pair so it would be how much can you tell me now from this green portion according to ohm's law v is equal to i into r v is how much v only i is how much in this case how much current is flowing in this resistance r i1 right and resistance is 1 ohm correct but there is one thing ki hamara current is moving like this i1 is moving from left to right but according to the sign convention they have given their current is moving from right to left so that's why we need to put a negative sign here okay that's why we need to put a negative sign here understood so now we'll have three variable three equation we can solve it and after solving we'll get the value for right we have one of the variable is va another variable is vb another variable is v yahan pe i1 aaya to i1 ko what we can put i1 is how much again 0 minus va plus 2 by 1 theek hai now question number 2 in this they said you have to solve it by using mesh analysis so according to mesh can you tell me how many meshes are there three meshes this is let us consider i1 this is i2 and upar wala is i3 okay all the steps are same like suppose current mark current direction next step is to mark sign convention positive negative battery sign will remain same positive negative right again positive negative positive negative and this one is also positive negative 
पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव एंड पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव ठीक है नाउ आई एम टेलिंग यू द मैश वन इक्वेशन मैश वन इक्वेशन इज लेट स्टार्ट इट फ्रॉम हेयर तो यहाँ से यहाँ जाएंगे तो वट वुड बी द सेकेंड साइन सेकेंड साइन इज माइनस राइट माइनस फाइव आई वन माइनस आई थ्री करेक्ट देन प्लस एंड माइनस सेकेंड साइन माइनस वैल्यू इज टेन एंगल नाइन करेक्ट देन प्लस एंड माइनस माइनस If they have given the resistance value J2, टू मतलब ये बेसिकली एक्सएल दिया हुआ है इन्होंने ओके सो जे टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई आई वन दैट वुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस इज योर फर्स्ट मैश इक्वेशन ठीक है क्लियर है सिमिलरली वी कैन कैलकुलेट द सेकेंड मैश इक्वेशन मैश टू नाउ यू टेल मी द मैश टू इक्वेशन These will be the three mesh equation: first mesh, second mesh, and third mesh. Now, what we need to do? I one ka coefficient ek saath karlo, I two ka coefficient ek saath karlo, and uh, the constant term will move it on the right hand side to further solve the equation. Like, let us consider, uh, and we need to make a matrix. So it would be minus five I one, right? And minus j two i one. So can we say that minus bracket five plus j two i one? Yes or no? And there is no i two, so we can write down two i two. And if we we'll solve it for i three, then minus minus will become plus. Then it would be plus five i three. And constant on the right hand side that would be an angle nine. Correct? Now similarly, we can do it for mesh two. There is no I one term, zero I one minus five I two and minus J two I two so minus again common five plus J two I two and minus minus plus plus five I three would be equal to minus ten angle nine. Correct? Mm. Would be minus forty five. Minus fourteen plus J two I three that would be equal to zero. Okay. Now can we convert this term into a matrix form? See, now we have converted this one. Let's consider the in the matrix form. So it would be like this: I one, I two. I three would be equal to ten angle nine, ten angle nine, zero degree, right? So it would be minus five plus J two zero five, so minus five plus J two five 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 minus fourteen plus J two, correct? Now for calculation of I one, now you need to apply the Cramer's rule. What is Cramer's rule? Basically, I one would be equal to delta I one uh, by I. पहले पढ़ा था ना? So it would I one would be equal to delta I by sorry 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 I one by delta I. Yeah. Basically, we need to calculate the determinant of each and everything. So, I one would be equal to delta I one by delta I two would be equal to delta I two <coughs> by delta, and I three would be equal to delta I three by delta. Now, what is delta I one? See. What is delta I one? Delta I one is we can shift all these terms to the is ki jangha pe ten angle nine, ten angle nine and zero. Rest of the terms are same. Minus five plus J two five five minus fourteen plus J two. Now we need to calculate the determinant of this one. Okay. Similarly. Delta I two is 
ये वाली टर्म सेम रहेगी माइनस फाइव प्लस ए टू जीरो फाइव अब ये वाली सारी टर्म्स आई टू मतलब सेकेंड रो में टेन एंगल नाइन टेन एंगल नाइन एंड जीरो फाइव फाइव माइनस फोर्टीन प्लस सिमिलरली डेल्टा आई थ्री इज हाउ मच ये वाली सारी टर्म्स राइट तो वुड बी माइनस फाइव प्लस जे टू जीरो फाइव जीरो माइनस फाइव प्लस जे टू फाइव टेन एंगल नाइन टेन एंगल नाइन एंड यहाँ तक बोलो कोई डाउट दिस वन इज डेल्टा दिस वन इज डेल्टा आई वन दिस वन इज डेल्टा आई टू एंड दिस वन इज डेल्टा आई थ्री फर्स्ट कॉलम को रिप्लेस करेंगे तो डेल्टा आई वन सेकेंड कॉलम को रिप्लेस करेंगे तो डेल्टा आई टू थर्ड कॉलम को रिप्लेस करेंगे तो डेल्टा आई थ्री नाउ लेट सी हाउ कैन वी कैलकुलेट डेल्टा ओके तो इट्स अ बेसिकली डिटर्मेंट तो कैसे निकालते थे डिटर्मिनेंट रिमेंबर माइनस फाइव प्लस जे टू तो इस रो को एंड इस कॉलम को छोड़ दो इट वुड बी हाउ मच दिस इंटू दिस माइनस दिस इंटू दिस राइट तो कितना हो जाएगा माइनस फाइव प्लस जे टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई माइनस फोर्टीन प्लस जे टू माइनस फाइव इंटू फाइव करेक्ट ध्यान से फर्स्ट वी हैव टू टेक दिस देन लीव दिस रो एंड लीव दिस कॉलम नाउ क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई दिस इंटू दिस माइनस दिस इंटू दिस ठीक है हम्म नाउ नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू चेंज द साइन ऑफ द मिडल टर्म माइनस जीरो नाउ लीव दिस रो एंड दिस कॉलम करेक्ट फिर से दिस इंटू दिस माइनस दिस इंटू दिस तो मैं पूरा करके दिखा रही हूँ सो दैट यू वोट गेट कंफ्यूज जीरो इंटू माइनस फोर्टीन प्लस जे टू माइनस फाइव इंटू फाइव राइट नाउ फॉर द थर्ड केस फाइव लीव दिस रो थर्ड रो एंड थर्ड कॉलम करेक्ट तो प्लस फाइव इंटू अगेन दिस इंटू दिस माइनस दिस इंटू तो जीरो इंटू फाइव माइनस ऑफ माइनस फाइव प्लस जे टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फाइव करेक्ट माइनस इन ठीक है now after solving it we'll be able to get delta. similarly we need to obtain delta 1 delta i sorry delta i1 delta i2 and delta i3 it's a long long lengthy questions paper mein yahi pe bachcha tak jate hain and how will you make it perfect by doing practice oh, you have no other shot okay now this term will be eliminated because it is come so how will you solve these two terms take out your calculator now see how can you solve it through calculator i am solving only this equation so it would be minus 5 plus j2 hai right? na so how will you solve this term minus hai to koi baat nahi minus likh lo bahar 5 plus j2 right press mode then it will ask normal complex now press 2 then it would be converted into complex mode theek hai hmm ha ah. now bracket bracket is this bracket 5 plus 5 plus hai to plus okay 2 i How will you get I? यहाँ पे I है by pressing shift button. Press shift, then this one. Then you will get फाइव plus टू आई Got it? आ रहा है ये कैलकुलेटर में देन अगेन ब्रैकेट माइनस फोर्टीन प्लस टू आई देन प्रेस इक्वल टू मी 
क्या आंसर आया ठीक है माइनस प्लस का वो देख लेना देन माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव आ गया अब सेवेंटी फोर इज द रियल टर्म ट्वेंटी फाइव इज ऑल्सो द रियल टर्म इसको सॉल्व कर दो तो सेवेंटी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव एक टर्म आ जाएगी प्लस एटीन या जे एटीन एज इट इज और बाहर कितना है फाइव प्लस जे टू अब इन दोनों को भी इसी तरह सॉल्व कर सकते हैं क्या आएगा ये तुम्हारे देखो असाइनमेंट के क्वेश्चन हैं अगर तुम्हें किसी भी असाइनमेंट में कोई भी डाउट हो तो मुझे तुम कांटेक्ट कर सकते हो माय नेम इज़ चारो जैन एंड दिस इज माय नंबर आई विल हेल्प यू तुम्हें कहीं पे कोई भी छोटा सा डाउट आ रहा है या कुछ भी क्वेश्चन है या कोई भी क्वेरी है तो तुम मुझसे डायरेक्टली पूछ सकते हो एंड दिस असाइनमेंट इज नीड टू बी सबमिटेड बाय सिक्स पी ऑन ट्वेंटी ऑफ ऑगस्ट ठीक है ये आई डिपार्टमेंट का है सब्जेक्ट है नेटवर्क एनालिसिस एंड सिग्नल सेमेस्टर थ्री का है इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इंजीनियरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन कम्युनिकेशन डिपार्टमेंट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी एनी डाउट देन यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट मी ऑन दिस नंबर